Hi friends, in this video let's discuss about angular routing. So to understand the concept of angular routing, let's create some sample components so that we can see how the navigation performs in angular. Mm -hmm. So let's create a new component inside src app. Let's navigate to src app first. Okay. Inside src app, let's create a new component here by using the command ng space g for generate, c for component, home. Okay, let's create home component. Now home component got created. We can observe here a folder getting created with home.component.css, html and ts. Similarly, let's create another component that is ng space g for generate, c for component. Let's name this component as no page to display. Okay, no page to display component. Click on enter. Okay. Another folder got created, no page to display with respective files which we want to use for Angular. Now we have generated required sample, sample components for our project. So now next thing what we need to do is we need to define routing. How to do that? Let's open app.module.ts. Inside app.module.ts. If you observe the home component and no page to display component which we created just now has been already imported inside our app.module.ts. This angler has done for us. So now what we need to do is we need to define the routes. We need to define where our page needs to be navigated whenever we are defining any component. So next what we will do is let's create a constant here. Const let's name it as app routes for our application routes. This will take type as routes. Routes is a type which is going to take by this variable that is constant. And this will be array of objects. This will take array of objects here. So what will be the array of objects in this case? This routes should be imported. From import, we need to import routes and router module to perform routing that is router module comma routes these two should be imported from at the rate angular slash router okay so we have imported router module and routes which are required for navigation so if you observe here this routes is a type which will take route as array of object here we are going to per, uh, we are going to pass key and value pairs in this case so what are the paths which we want to specify and where our component needs to be navigated to which page we need to specify inside this array of objects that is routes so let's do that inside here we need to specify okay we need to specify which path which path you want to navigate to okay that is path this is the key and value for this I want to navigate to home okay because I have created home folder here that is component home component and we need to specify which component to navigate to component will be home component so what will this happen so whenever in URL home is specified immediately angular will find this associated component to this home okay for this key what is associated component and this associated component html content that is here we can find that home.component.html particular this file content will be displayed on this page whenever we are navigating that is what we are specifying here and I want to specify another path here that is path for students this students component we already have created in our previous videos for angular services for explaining angular services tutorial we have seen already creating a student list component right so this i am going to specify path as students and component will be component in this case will be student list component okay now we have specified for home and students okay so now i want to specify another thing suppose if I am not specifying any value, okay, if I am not passing any 
any path for the URL, then where I want to redirect our page to. In that case, I want to redirect our page to home. So let us specify that. So this will be without value redirect to, I want to redirect to which page? I want to redirect to home page. So we need to specify slash home. Okay. And path match will be full. Okay. So what does this path match mean? If root path, that is localhost. If in case we are not specifying any path and we are just opening our browser with localhost, then it will redirect to slash home. It, that is by default it will redirect to slash home. That is what this means. And what does path match full means? Path match full means that the whole URL path needs to match. And this is consumed by route matching algorithm. Okay. This is how it will happen. The whole URL path needs to be matched in this case. That is what we are specifying here. Then another path I want to specify in case we are not specifying any of this. We are not specifying any of this means I want to uh, redirect to some other URL which I have not specified here. Some random, some random name I am going to pass. In that case what should happen? In that case we need to pass star star okay and associated component for this we need to provide no page to display this is what we generated component previously right so i want to display as no page to display associated this html content whatever i am going to write here should be displayed whenever i am passing some random url for this okay so let's mention that here no page to display component so now if you observe we have specified all these paths with associated components that is home path, students path for displaying student list component. This is like we are not passing anything empty path in that case it will redirect to home. If we are passing some uh, wrong URL or something what should happen then it should display no page to display component. Now we have specified all the routes required routes for our components. Next thing what we need to do is we need to import router module and we need to pass this as a parameter whatever we are taking constant here app routes which will take array of objects array of objects includes key and value pairs of path and component this we need to pass for router module that is inside inside imports array what we need to do is we need to pass router module dot for root for root of app routes so what is this app routes mean this is what we are declaring constant here if you observe app routes is the constant which we are declaring here right and associated whichever the objects which we are initializing array of objects that is key value pairs of path and component will be passed as a parameter for router module router module dot for root for root means slash so for slash whenever we are finding home it will go to home component whenever we are finding students it will go to student list component this is how it happens okay we have defined everything now that is router module and associated routes for it next what we need to do next thing what we need to do is inside our app component dot html we need to specify a link for these paths whatever paths we have specified here as routes we need to specify a link for this when it should be triggered right so what we will do is inside app dot component dot html let us create a div element with some style okay for example padding 5 pixel okay inside this I will create an unordered list which contains list of links okay and this links will have anchor tag like right? because it is a link and we need to specify attribute here that is router link equals where I want to navigate my page to and here I want to navigate to home for example we I need to specify as home and name of the link okay this is how I need to specify and similarly I want another navigation link that is a router link equals I want to navigate to students okay students 
so what does this home and students mean where we are specifying this home and student this is where we are specifying routes right for home associated home component will be triggered and associated home component html content which we want to display on our web page will be triggered in this case this is how it is going to match the routes which we are specifying here the paths and the components key value pairs okay the same value which we are passing here as a path should be specified inside app component.html that is as a router link okay now what will happen once we have specified the router link it's very important for us to specify the directive that is router hyphen outlet so what is the use of this directive router outlet in angular works as a placeholder which is used to load different components dynamically based on activated component okay navigation can be done using this router outlet and the activated component will take place inside the router outlet to load its contents so what does this mean means whenever we are specifying as router outlet at dynamic time what will happen associated component will be triggered components html content will get triggered that is the use of this router outlet if you are not specifying then angular will not know which html needs to be triggered for the above links okay that is the use of router outlet directive now next what we will do is associated html content for this home and no page to display let's modify a little student list already we have specified the table which we want to display student list right in in our previous videos we have discovered we have already written like code for uh, angular services which will trigger all the student details in the form of a table so next what we'll do is inside home home.component.html let's write some message here for example welcome to home page okay and inside no page to display.component.html let's write sorry no page to display okay what does this mean means the page is not found we are now, we are specifying some url which is not specified inside our routes in that case this will be triggered no page to display okay now now what we'll do is let's execute this and check the output so npm space start so project is getting compiled okay it's compiled successfully now if you observe this url in our web page see you can see two links created here that is home and students and welcome to home page is getting displayed here if you observe the url here you can see localhost colon 4200 slash home slash home is by default it is getting triggered here why because we have specified here if you observe app.module.ts here we are clearly specifying redirect to slash home in case we are not specifying anything in url that is we are just calling the localhost in that case what will happen it will redirect to slash home that's why it is going to slash home here suppose if i click on students so what will happen associated student component is getting student list component is getting triggered and angular services we are used in the previous video to display this content right so student details is getting displayed here and if you observe the url localhost colon 4200 slash students you can observe here this is the routing path which you have specified so it is navigating to this path and it is displaying student details suppose if you click on home again it will be slash home and welcome to home page will get displayed see suppose i am removing home okay i am not specifying anything localhost colon 4200 and i am clicking on enter still it will navigate to slash home why because we have given redirect path to slash home correct so home is working students is working if you are not specifying anything it is if you are just specifying localhost then it is going to home page and last thing so suppose i am specifying wrong url for example slash i am specifying some value which i have not defined in routes and if i click on enter in that case what will be displayed sorry no page to display message is getting displayed which we have specified inside 
no page to display dot component dot html associated component will get triggered right whatever the path we are specifying associated component will get triggered because we have specified inside routes array array of objects where we are passing key value pairs that is path and component and we are passing this constant which we have taken here inside our router module we are passing as a parameter here so for slash for root means slash for slash it will search for the particular path and particular corresponding respective component will get triggered that is how routing works in angular if you observe index.html base href will be slash see if you observe inside index.html see base href we are specifying as slash this is the root so we want to map this root with these paths so whenever we are finding this path associated component will get triggered this is a concept of angular routing thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos if you have any doubts regarding this angular routing please comment in this section of this video so that i can answer for all these questions you can even join my whatsapp group which i have specifying inside my description of this video so that we can have a discussion on angular thank you bye